All right, so here I have a, uh, an Adobe Illustrator file. I wanted to walk through a little bit about how this is constructed and how it needs to be set up to have this be a label that's printed on clear film and with white behind the artwork. So uh, the first thing we have here is kind of a technical piece where we've got this fake clear film object uh, that way, if we have white as a knockout, where there's a hole, and you can see through the art, through the clear film, we can see something there behind the art that will be recognizable as not being part of the design. Um, you can see here also I have these little swatches because I'm using some Pantone colors. I have kind of have this simulation set up where we've got this is a white compound object and that way you can see through it. So, um, of course, I typically like to add a step wedge if it's a flexo uh, job. That way you can see what happens to your 1 and 2, uh, often the 1 and 2 percent uh, tones disappear completely and the 2 becomes almost like a 1 scum dot. So it's, it's, it's important to have step wedges. Here I have one that's set to clear and then one is going to be printed over the top of white. Um, of course, there's your design. And uh, typically with Flexo, you have a template because you have distortion and you want to be able to measure it against what you, the original was and what it was supposed to be when it's distorted. Now, that's all fine and good, and that's usually where people stop. And they say, great, uh, please print this. But if you're going to print it on the Epson WT7900, you need to need a white layer behind everything that's going to be colored but not clear. And so, so if I were to turn off all these layers and show you, that's all the areas. And I, I typically put a paper color or some kind of color that we can see. It doesn't have to be anything obvious, but it could be something like gray or pink. But the idea here is that it is on top. And most importantly, uh, obviously, when I make the PDF, I'm going to turn off the simulation layer. Most importantly is that spot color is not just a spot white, as you'll see here. If I double-click, I have a spot white. I've picked it a lab color. It doesn't matter what color space it is. As long as it's a spot color, it'll be a spot channel. But it's important that we set it to overprint. Uh, that way, nothing knocks it out. And I like to put it on top so that one knows to turn on overprint preview in the Acrobat PDF. So, of course, if I was going to save this, I'd go under File, and I'd Save As, and in this case, I would pick Adobe PDF and go through the PDFX4 settings for that. That's a different video. So I'm going to just cancel here and go right to Acrobat. Now, you can see here, as this file is opening, that I have this white object on top, as I said, and it is set to overprint. So you can't see anything unless you turn overprint on. So I'm going to the advanced menu, I'm going to print production, I'm going to output preview. This will open up a dialog box, it will show you all the spot colors, and you also you'll notice I have it set to simulate overprint. If I turn that off, of course, the white ink is going to not overprint, and therefore it'll be on top and you know and obliterate everything beneath it. But I am going to set this up to simulate overprint. Now this is important that you understand that you can't put this behind because then everything else has to overprint it, and that will screw up things when you're in your design. So uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because with the overprint on, you can see I've got this white color. Of course, if I go here, you'll see it's at 100%. And over here, I've got black over the white. So, of course, if I open this up just a little bit more and see the total ink coverage, let's move this over to the right a little bit. You can see here that I've got 100% black and 100% white. And here, as I go across, you're seeing the black descend, and there's nothing here. So I've got 1%, 2%, 3%. But only the black. Now up here I have it over white. So here I've got, you know, this is going to be 101%, 102% for total area coverage. Um, 
This is important as you go around here. So, you know, here typically if we didn't have the white channel on, then right here would be zero, right? But it isn't. It's 100%. Well, actually, there's a 10% tone uh, even in this white area. So that's how it works. Uh, what's interesting, too, of course, you can turn off all the other colors and uh, just look at uh, the, the one channel at a time. Like here, you can see uh, what the white uh, channel would be. If I just turned on just the white channel, you'll see it shows up as black and opaque. Um, here you can see now I'm going to add the Pantone, the other Pantone, uh, a third Pantone. You can see each channel as it is in the spot color. So that's it. Uh, that's how you set up a PDF and, or an Acrobat uh, file so that it has white overprint and you can see the file uh, is now ready for production. Hope that helps.